We'll move east again to Toronto. Mm-hmm. Um, no significant change in terms of your core group over the off season, which a lot of people were calling for. Uh, we did move some letters around on some jerseys. We'll see if that helps a whole lot. New head coach, mm-hmm. revamped blue line. Um, it's an old blue line, but it's a big blue line, uh, a little more physical. Maybe that's going to fit a little better with a Craig Berube system. Uh, if you want to hear a little more in-depth talk on the Leafs, I can say that on episode 1402, Jeff Vayette will be here to tee up the Leafs season as he does every year for us, uh, our Leafs pre- uh, season preview. And uh, so look forward to that on episode 1402. Thank God Jeff's after me. <laughs> you got to get this, got to empty the tank first or what? No, it's just O2. <laughs> oh, I see. Like the Sabres. <laughs> you do understand the O2. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well done, man. Yeah. Well, well struck. I know. Um, if you just let me breathe for a second, you'll get, I get the point. I get to tee this up. A no, I know bit. what I'm saying. Like, I'm funny. I'm, you got you to gotta let me. <laughs> that is such bullshit. You got to let me breathe. Oh, we got to get that Hitman beer too. I saw. Yeah, yeah. We got to we gotta lay hands on that somewhere. We'll get to that. Um, <laughs> hopefully. So, yeah. It's, okay, what? It's, okay, it's, dude, yeah. it's your team. What do you want to ask me about your team? Seriously. Oh, oh man, almost nothing. Like, <laughs> right. So you want to skip them or? There. I think easy playoff team. It's a different look. I think what we're betting or they're banking on here is maybe about the same, maybe even slightly worse in the regular season, but that it's more playoff mm-hmm. ready, I think is the goal with okay, what they've so done. So here's what I'm going to tell you and every other goddamn Leaf fan. When you are middle of the pack in the regular season, because you are going to take a step back, can you please not act like the world is ending? Because you're you are playoff ready, like you understand what's happening in the playoffs. You have a new head coach. It's going to take some time for that coach to kind of mold what he wants out of players. As the new captain. I mean, I'm just so inspired by Austin. It's just amazing. The guy was so good that chasing 70 goals, he couldn't even make the goddamn show on Amazon. It was really nice. They tracked him, but it was actually so not interesting to follow that dude. He couldn't even make the show. Awesome. It's a ridiculous measuring stick you've just laid down there. Seriously. He was chasing 70 goals. Couldn't they make. had already chosen the players they were going to follow. That was announced at the All Star break. No, 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 no. Yeah, yes, Matt, that's what happened. Matt, do you do you understand? They followed him all year long, and they chose. They him. didn't follow anyone until February. Yes, and they followed him in February. Okay, is that the same as all year long? Are we just removing the no, goalposts here a little I bit? I mean, yeah, the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They picked the guys already. Yes. Did they pick Austin Matthews? No. Yes, they did. No, they fucking did not. No, they followed him from February on. You're not right about that. Let's get back on the actual team. No. Because measuring how good a captain someone might be by whether or not they appeared in the fucking... You should be all over Nate McKinnon, who said, not interested, not doing it. Terrible captain. Fuck that guy. You're right. I should be. Well, let's hear it. Okay. (laughs) Let's talk about this particular yeah, This is a good team. team. And as a new coach, good coach, I think it'll take a while to mold. I don't think they'll be great in the regular season as far as like leading everything. People will panic in Toronto because they're not where they want to be, but they are a playoff team. I've kind of got them and, seven through 10 in the leagues. I feel they, about right. Yep. Yeah. And they will be better in the playoffs. And this is a dangerous team come playoff team time. Do you think big overarching question mark Mm -hmm. over the whole thing is having two goalies neither one has ever played 30 games before if I like I they're very high on Joseph Wall I like Joseph Wall and especially for this team I like how Mm -hmm. robotic and calm he is in there and just does his thing I think a team who has a history of getting a little worked up or getting nervous or whatever you want to call it can benefit from looking back and seeing that guy just doing his thing, like not worried about anything. But he seems to get hurt pretty often. Stolarz has gotten hurt pretty often and is ideally suited to be a competent backup. 
behind him. Got the ever-present Matt Murray. You can see uh, what that might look like. I do expect he will play games for this team this year. Mm -hmm. That, to me, is the big question mark for the Leafs, is what kind of goaltending are you going to get? If they get league average goaltending, they'll be fine. Can they get it? Yes. Yeah. They're too good in front of their goalie. They have the puck a lot. Yep. I mean. Although they've built a team that will have it less. Yes, they have. But they're too talented to, their goalie is going to have to be really bad to put them in, in, a, in a bad spot. So I, I don't even worry about that. It To say that people get injured a lot is you can go back on history, but if guys are healthy, to say that they're going to, I'm not saying you are. I'm just saying mm -hmm. to predict that people are going to be hurt. If your name's not Dominic Hasek, then <laughs> I, I just don't believe in that. Like, I, I really don't. And I look, Swayman and Allmark did every other game. Like, yep. the biggest contract I've ever seen for a guy that's played yeah. 40 games in his life. 